Corey Kenshin has just dropped a banger of a video. You guys either play favorites, you are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. Exposing YouTube's favoritism and racism, and everybody is chiming in. YouTube is getting left, right, good night. They're getting knocked the fuck out. Like YouTube needed his wake up call. They needed to be called out, bro. I'm happy. You got Charlie chiming in. Yesterday, a very popular YouTuber named Corey Kinshin posted an absolute bombshell of a video accusing YouTube of some awful things. The gloves were off and the chef's hat was on because he just started cooking their ass. Jideon chiming in. They sent an automated message telling me to submit an appeal and they would get right to it. I did. You guys reviewed my 20 minute reaction in three three minutes and automatically denied it. And guess what YouTube, team YouTube support did? They deleted their tweet and then an actual person tweeted at me and said, we're right on it. And Ludwig chiming in, reversing the reversing of the reverse. All right, flipping it all the way back to step one. And they're like, you know what? You were right. We are now harsher on Markiplier. That's the, and now it's fixed, smiley face. But the answer is of course, no. So I'm just gonna listen, react, and also put my two cents in because I am a victim of the shitty YouTube report system as well. YouTube's report system and appeal system is ass. Half my videos got 18 plus demonetized. And to be fair, I swear a lot in my videos, bro. So I can understand if I do get age restricted or limited or whatever the fuck, because I do swear all the time. I'm like, suck all that. I don't care. I say it all, right? If you are going to age restrict some of my content, at least tell me why. In the past 24 hours, five of my videos, five of my videos got 18 plus and limited ads. Here's a few of them. Calling my fucking mother on stream. No, don't do that. A Sims video. This is self-harm. And then to top it off, three random scary games. Fuck you. Fuck YouTube. YouTube sucks dick. Fuck you. And then they're going to keep those videos age restricted. They're going to double down on it and keep them age restricted. And then say, thanks so much for understanding. Okay, I'll go fuck myself. I guess you YouTube! That's why Corey fucking y'all up right now. Get that shit in order. Fuck you talking about W Corey in the comment section. Leo, damn, what did I, what did I just say? Let, let, let him. <laughs> I just got back from LA, and right before I left, on yeah, my way to the airport, this? the main. Uh, he's been a YouTuber since like YouTube popped off, low key. And Corey Kenshin actually dropped do some absolute banger of a video. YouTube, you guys either play favorites. You are racist, or it's a mix of the two. These are the three options, YouTube. He levied uh, some pretty serious accusations against YouTube. I want to talk about it a little bit in this video because I kind of have a, a lot of thoughts around these types of subjects when it comes to YouTube in general. The stuff that Corey talked about was very specific to his use case about what was going on with his channel. And he accused YouTube of playing favorites and possibly being racist against black creators and other uh, creators of color when they upload their content. I mean, let's face it, I come from a place of immense privilege being a white man on the internet, so I can't speak for the racist side of things. Yo, bro has super hairy arms, what the fuck? He brought us some pretty good points that are kind of hard not to think about in that regard because uh, he brought up a bunch of receipts as well, talking about his instances with the YouTube rep that he had and just to kind of break it down for you, he uploaded uh, the Mortuary Assistant and his video got age restricted because of a certain section got to do with self-harm and dealing with uh, the themes of suicide and everything. If you've watched my series on the Mortuary Assistant, you know what scene that is. And he got frustrated by it because it got age restricted and then he started searching around other YouTubers to see if theirs was <clears> age restricted <throat> and it wasn't. No one else's was age restricted. So I appealed the restriction. Hey guys, I'm... I'm not sure why mine got age restricted. Could you look into this? Appeal rejected. But I, I should clarify this, that I talked to Corey a little bit about this. I was texting him after his video went out to talk about it because I really liked his video and I, I'm really glad that he, he did it and brought up a lot of these points. But he said that he checked my video as one of the first ones he went to to see if it got age restricted and at the time it wasn't but my video has been age restricted since the 15th of august Corey's scenario that happened was that 
His video got age restricted. He looked around. Some other YouTubers didn't have age restrictions on their content either. And he went to some other channels like like Markiplier's to see if theirs got restricted as well because like a big creator who's seen very favorably in YouTube's eyes had like a very popular video about Mortuary Assistant as well. Wasn't age restricted. So he felt a bit targeted as a result of that, which Fair enough. But he went back to his YouTube rep and was like, hey, why is mine age restricted when Mark's isn't and it has the exact same scene in it? And then suddenly his got greenlit. It was fine. They took the age restriction off and everything went about their business. And then he started to get pretty mad about it, which I completely understand because why is that the scenario? Why is that the order of operations? Now my YouTube rep, he was excited. He was, oh great, this is awesome. Look Corey, they took the age restriction off. I said, why? <laughs> why? I expected them to triple down and give Markiplier an age restriction Can Kenji too. also get? Yeah, I got, I got age restricted literally like two days ago. My mortuary assistant got restricted after I tweeted at YouTube saying, yo, my Roblox videos are age restricted. Two Roblox videos are no longer 18 plus. Fucking three other videos of mine got age restricted on top of the eight other ones. And they use that to verify my innocence. And then sent a pretty scathing email to his YouTube rep, which fair play to you. I'm I'm very proud of you, Corey, for doing that because it takes a lot to stand up to these types of things that are happening whenever they do happen because it's a big system and a lot of times we're left to feel very dumb in regards to what's going on at YouTube, like we just don't understand the system. And then this happens and you're like, why? What the hell is going on? Why did it suddenly get greenlit when it only was because I mentioned it? And then they turned around and age restricted him again and age restricted Mark's video. Mm. And what do you know? They re age restricted the video. They re age restricted the video. I say, no way did they do that. I go to Markiplier's video now, and now his video is age restricted. Mm. They got caught with their pants down. And I don't know if that's when mine got age restricted as well. I think Corey actually uploaded his after mine, so maybe not. I want to talk a little bit about that, not just Corey's case, but my sort of experiences with it as well. And I have very good evidence of this as well, because I have a girlfriend who does the exact same job as me in the other room. And a lot of times we upload the same games. And this has happened a couple of times Power now couple. where we'll both upload the same game, her video will get flagged or claimed or something like that. Why are we, why are we chaosing right now, chat? What the fuck was going on? Totally fine. And then she's wondering why mine is clear. And I'm also like, yeah, that's so weird. Why is mine suddenly fine? Like that they just not flag me because I'm a bigger creator. And then sometimes a couple of days will go by and then I'll get flagged for it. But it's like, why did hers get flagged instantly? And mine didn't, because she got flagged for the mortuary assistant as well, got age restricted for the same scene. And it took days before mine did. When you think if it's supposed to be that obvious that it's in the system and these types of scenes are happening and they get auto flagged by this system, shouldn't it be consistent? across everybody's YouTube relatives against its creators because they don't like being called out. Like, okay, this is a problem with like shit. Like people just have all the power, right? People just have all the power and they if they don't like you, they could censor you with it anything bro like a censor they completely they could shadow ban you it happened on a, a platform before on mixer it was like a different stream i got shadow banned on there like if you typed up my name nothing would pop up it's not a fucking great feeling you know what i mean it's almost worse than getting a fucking deep platform but they could silence you if they don't like it bro i don't want special treatment because i've been on the platform for a while or maybe my content has been a bit more palatable to a lot of people and i don't I don't like rock the boat. I, I mean, I swear a lot of my content and that's been something in the past where I'm like, am I getting, is my stuff getting restricted because of that? But for the most part, my content is totally fine. And I think because of that, then they come to me and they're like, no, we're not going to flag you because you're fine. You normally are green in the system which is a massive problem as well, because I have the benefit of, there's been a couple of times when this has happened to me and Evelyn, where we go to our YouTube rep and say, why is this age restricted? Why did this get flagged? Why am I ad limited on my videos? And then they'll come back and be like, let me look into it. They go to the policy team, come back saying, sorry, it was a false flag. And then everything gets greenlit again. That's and now, literally what happened to me. With my YouTube rep, I have nothing against them. I actually really, really love my YouTube rep. He's amazing. He always has my back and really fights for me whenever I ask him to. He's as transparent as he can be with the information that he has all the time. So this is nothing against him. He's just my point of contact to get to YouTube's policy team. Their policy team sucks dick. Fuck. I keep thinking about what it's like if you don't have a YouTube rep uh, to talk to this stuff about. Like there's a lot of smaller creators out there that get stuff flagged for the same reasons and then they don't have anybody to talk to and it just stays flagged for a long time. And what happens because of that is when your stuff gets like a yellow symbol on it, you get demonetized or you get 
ad limited suitability or you get uh, claimed or anything like that, it just kills your search rankings because YouTube don't want to promote something that can go out to people that's claimed or has some sort of sensitive material or something in it. So you just don't end up in people's recommendations. You don't end up in suggested videos. You don't get pushed to as many people as you would if you were greenlit in the system. So there's a lot of creators out there who are probably getting hit with stuff that shouldn't be. Hi, my name is Kenki. I'm getting hit with shit. I shouldn't be getting hit with. And one of my instances <laughs> was that I got, I can't remember the video off the top of my head right now. I got it flagged. Then I went to my YouTube rep about it and they put it into the system and were like, yeah, that's weird. Why did that happen? And then it came back and it was greenlit and they were like, we don't know what happened, but what might have been the cause is that something in the auto captions had like underscores in it. And whenever uh, YouTube want to censor swear words, it puts underscores into the auto generated captions. So it might have thought that I was swearing where I wasn't swearing and auto flagged the video, which is a massive issue whenever you upload a video and most of your views come within the 24 hour period that it's uploaded. And then maybe it hits the algorithm later and takes off. But a lot of my views come in that first 24 hour period or 48 hours. And if something like that happens immediately, it crushes the video, it can't really take off again as much as it probably once could. And there's just a whole mess of issues around it in regards to that. So that inconsistency with uploading and that kind of check system that's going on is really bothersome. And sometimes I'll upload a video it's annoying. today. I'm trying to get an eye tracker video done. Some nudity in it, but we were trying really hard to like censor it as best we could so that it was like, you can't actually see anything in the video. And it kept getting restricted immediately every time I uploaded it, no matter how many sensors we were putting onto it. And I was like, fine, there's a lot of implied stuff in it. I get it. It's it's a very like risque kind of video and I, I knew that before even recording the video. But we kept uploading and I was like, you know what, at one point I'll just try an appeal on it to see what they say. Maybe they'll tell me exactly what actually is getting flagged because I have no idea. I don't know if- They don't. The appeal system is ass. They tell you fucking nothing, bro. They uh, they, they literally just, they say, we, we reject it and that's it. Three within eight hours, I got hit with age restrictions. Fuck YouTube. It's so, I hate it, bro. I fucking hate YouTube with passion. Some of the implied nudity, some of the stuff we're covering up with pictures some of the stuff that's pixelated. There's some male like top body nudity in it, which that double standard has existed for a while where that's totally fine showing male nipples, but anything else then is deemed way too sensitive, which is a whole other topic for a different discussion. But I was like, okay, maybe it's that. But then- I was on the stream. We're watching a YouTube video from Jap Jacksepticeye. That's why we're, that's why it's on the screen. Dude. The appeal came back and the video was greenlit. I don't know why suddenly it's fine because somebody looked at it and was like, actually, yeah, this video is fine. Why is it getting flagged? So it's this uh, imbalance between the system flagging stuff versus like a manual reviewer flagging it. And a lot of times I don't know which is doing it. I don't know which is which. I don't know who's actually checking this stuff or what's checking this stuff, why it's getting flagged. And that I think is the biggest issue with all of this is that lack of communication and transparency and willingness to know what we're getting flagged for. And that's been an issue for a really long time on the platform. Because not only can that happen, but the reverse can happen as well, where I get something flagged, then it gets greenlit by somebody at YouTube, supposedly, and then suddenly I upload the video and then five days later, I'm like, okay, it's clear, great. Now I'm happy because I know that that video is fine because someone manually reviewed it. And then a couple of days go by and then it gets flagged again and I can't appeal it. That's, that's a really big problem. And again, I come from a place of huge privilege where I have the ability to actually talk to them about about it. Can you imagine if you don't have that ability? What are you going to do about your content? You're just sitting there with it you in just gotta eat it, bro. wondering if the next thing you upload is actually going to get flagged as well and you're second guessing everything. Literally, bro. How the fuck? Oh my god. And that sort of like second guessing. He's spin! Stuff has really killed my sort of creativity when it comes to content or like it just pulls me out of it. Whenever I'm recording something and I'm thinking, man, is this going to get flagged? Do I have to edit this out? And all of these filters going through my brain just kind of like pulls me out of the moment and pulls me out of my own content where I just want to sit here and have fun and record stuff. And I know these systems are in place for good reasons, like to keep children safe, to keep pornographic content off the platform. Like for the reasons that they're implemented, they're very, they're very good reasons for them being there. And I completely understand that and don't want them to go away. I just wish it was more consistent and a bit more transparent as to what's going on. Cause right now it feels like you get flagged for some sort of stuff and they won't tell you what it is because- Dude, it's so bad. It's gotten to the point it's, I want to say it's worse than when Twitch fucking bans you. Twitch will ban you and they won't tell you why. They don't, they don't give a fuck. They'll just tell you why. The same shit happens with YouTube videos. I feel like it happens with YouTube videos much more. You know what I mean? Cause motherfucking videos flag, flag, hit, hit, hit. Everybody. Getting hit. It makes 
no sense. Either they don't know or they don't want to tell you because then it'll like poke holes in the system. And I guess this is a good jumping off point to the next point, which is that there's a big issue with users flagging videos these days as well. And I, again, I'm speaking all of this anecdotally because I don't have any like crazy proof of this. It's just kind of what I go through and what I see others go through and the stories that I hear from them is that users can flag videos. And if you get mass reported for something, I think then YouTube pays attention to it and does something about it. And a, a recent example of this was that the Corridor Digital people got their channel hacked and they got mass reported by people watching the video to be like, hey, your channel's hacked or we want this taken down or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then their whole channel was removed from YouTube. So it, it made me think, what happens if you're not hacked and people report you en masse like that as well? Do YouTube actually check That's it? That's literally what happened, bro. Like, my shit got mass fucking reported. Five! Five of my videos got falsely flagged in under 24 hours, bro. How? How? I fucking tweet at YouTube and then they're just like, thanks for understanding, you know? Go fuck yourself. Fuck! I, I can't. I'm gonna lose my goddamn mind, yo. Fuck you, YouTube. And then be like, no, that's fine. We'll keep it. Or... Is it automated where the, the system will just take your channel down anyway if you just get mass flagged for something? Because what if somebody uploads something and other people don't like it and then it gets mass reported? Like, I don't know the systems in place for users flagging videos like that. And again, I could be I could be talking out of my ass on this one and it could not actually be like that. And there could be way more systems in place to protect people from that. But again, I don't know. And the fact that I don't know in these scenarios, and I'm guessing, is a massive problem. It's a huge problem. Look at his fucking, look at the size of it. He has 28 points. 7 million subscribers and he's dealing with the same shit too so that just tells you how fucked youtube is bro if people are getting hit and flagged for videos and limited content i don't mind getting hit and flagged for content chat i don't care like if my video is 18 plus like dude there's um one of my videos got copyright claimed i really like the music so i didn't give a fuck i uploaded regardless knowing i wasn't gonna make any revenue off of it it was like one of the uh i think this shit has like 160k 120k uh likes so it was the one with doctor and me it had like uh, 20 seconds of copyrighted music, but I really liked it, so I kept it. I don't mind eating a limited or 18 plus or a copyright claim. I don't mind at least give me a timestamp, a reason, or something so it's consistent and so I know how to avoid it in the future. It makes no sense. Especially as people on this platform that are like all these massive creators that are bringing in so much revenue for YouTube and the fact that we don't know exactly how you address these types of things, I think is a really big problem. Because this fucked. happened a while ago as well, um, with between Charlie and Mark as well. Of the almost two years ago to the date, a story involving Moist Critical. Now, some of you might remember this, might be a bit of a nostalgia blast. Charlie tweeted out that he got a strike from YouTube and his appeal was rejected because he had put something on the screen that was violent or graphic content. It was basically a bunch of mascots fake kicking someone on the road. Markiplier, who had the same exact video on his channel, said, fair is fair, YouTube, where's my strike? Same exact guy, by the way. Crazy that Markiplier is in both of these. So one creator gets a strike for something that they have in their video. Markiplier, yet again, does not have a strike even though it's in his video. YouTube comes back and they go, bang, all right. Strike for both of you now. I don't I don't know why, but it seems like, so I've gotten stuff flagged before where Mark hasn't. Mm. And I think, because me and Mark are of a similar size and like make similar content, that to me was really bizarre. The only difference is that Mark has made like YouTube original shows with them. And I'm wondering if he was put into a different system so those shows wouldn't get flagged for some of the stuff that was in them. So now other stuff kind of gets a bit more leeway on it. I mean, it's true that they do that, right? And, and it, it's dumb to think that they don't. Mixer, which was a, it was a fucking streaming platform that got shut down. They picked favorites. The reason why they got shut down, bro, is because one of the CEOs of fucking Mixer said, like, I get to pick and choose who uh, does good on this platform. Like, they, they pick and choose all the fucking time, bro. So if Mixer's doing it, which was a small platform, you think fucking YouTube isn't picking and choosing, bro, and not picking favorites? Of course they are, bro. What? But it's kind of hard not think about these things from this perspective. And I would love to be able to talk to someone at YouTube about this more in depth and see exactly, like get some actual honesty out of it instead of being talked to in riddles. Like what is actually going on? We don't know. 
And that's really dis- disheartening to upload content. Like there's sometimes- It's very like, discouraging, bro. I tweeted this shit at YouTube. It's discouraging not knowing what you're being flagged for and getting hit with a false flag for no fucking reason and no explanation behind it is annoying, bro. I said, hoping this doesn't happen in the future, but if it does, how do I get a better line of communication about this rather than a public platform? Because the only time you can ever get something really appealed and really looked at by a fucking human to get anything appealed when you know it's fucking bullshit is to tweet and you fucking if you do not have a platform say if i wasn't a, uh, i'm not like a super big creator but say if i didn't have a platform that i did now right i i literally would have to just eat that limited eat that 18 plus and be fucked so the fact that i gotta do this so i said is there an email or someone i could personally dm about this situation to help me because i don't want to keep on fucking tweeting about it i shouldn't have to tweet about it you know what i mean especially if you're a big fucking creator you shouldn't have to fucking do none of that bullshit following up heard back from the team on the remaining vids will stay age restricted this is because the vids are containing adult and self-harm i'm mad i'm mad as shit continue with the video <laughs> But the fact that like this year I've had to second guess absolutely everything I'm doing down to like titles and thumbnails because that's the new meta with everything. It's like you have to think of a title first and then think of a really slapping thumbnail that like clickbaits people into your video instead of just having it be like, hey, I'm uploading an hour of this video that's a game and it's fun and I just want to do it casually and like sit back, relax and actually have my stuff served to the same people that it was always served to before. And I'm Literally. it's just vastly different. Literally, bro. The algorithm is completely different, bro. I'm getting videos that like, I it doesn't make sense, dude. I, I don't get it. And it's hard to talk about this stuff as well because I'm not trying to come at this from a perspective of like, oh, woe is me, my video should be doing better. That That's not the case. If, if I upload something that people just aren't interested in, that's totally fine. I absolutely get it. But when I'm uploading like similar videos to some of my peers and then it gets like, punished for that because of something I did slightly differently than them. That's that's a really big issue to me because everyone should be treated fairly on the platform. This is coming from a perspective of like being a white dude on YouTube. And this comes back to Corey's video again, where he said he'll come back from a massive break, have huge videos, do massive numbers, and it's always super impressive to see. And then suddenly YouTube will come out of nowhere and start flagging videos from like eight months ago when he wasn't uploading. And every single time I start to get an uptick mm. in traction, an uptick in activity, you, here comes YouTube coming through. Hey, um, uh, 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 let's get him for that video from 2019. Yeah, you, you see this, Corey? No, this is bad. It wasn't bad the nine months that I was off the platform. Facts. It was only bad when I got back and I was number one trending. So why? Why are they getting flagged now when he's back and not when he's uploaded them or not when he's on his break? It's suddenly like now I'm gaining traction and attention again and then YouTube punish him for it. Is it users flagging videos who maybe don't like him? Is it racists? Is it people at YouTube doing it? Nobody knows. So all he can do is like jump to his own conclusions based on the experience that he's been having and that ends up in the video that he has. And that's why I'm making this video. And I saw that Ludwig made one as well and Charlie made one and Mark's probably gonna make a video on this too, talking about those experiences as well. I definitely wanna see uh, Charlie's. Yesterday, a very popular YouTuber named Corey Kinchin posted an absolute bombshell of a video accusing YouTube of some awful things and explained the whole situation that led to the claims and he does not hold back. The gloves were off and the chef's hat was on because he just started cooking their ass. The video is titled YouTube Racism and Favoritism and it was actually the number one trending video all day yesterday and right now it's the number two, which means this is the front page of YouTube. This is the number one video on YouTube, so I bet they're thrilled about that. Corey Kinshin has over 14 million subscribers, so this is a video that carries a lot of weight. Now before getting into the specifics of the situation, I'd like to say I think most people have been aware of favoritism on YouTube for quite a while. You know, it's not exactly like the Krabby Patty secret formula. It's not hush hush. I, I think. Bro, I mean, Twitch picks favorites as well, bro. You know what I mean? Everyone has recognized that there is some level of favoritism on the platform. However, the claims that Corey is about to make against the YouTube policy team in regards to racism are pretty interesting. Mm. August 18th, I uploaded the Mortuary Assistant. A lot of you would know it got age restricted. I saw that all these other YouTubers were playing the Mortuary Assistant and only my video seem to be age restricted. I will be on that list too, but I got age restricted, so I'm not gonna show up. Corey mentions that after appealing, he was denied, rejected pretty quickly. That's the norm. And the only time an appeal 
doesn't lead to rejection is when you make a trending hashtag about it on Twitter. You make a big hoopla on Twitter and then YouTube will go to your appeal and, you know, make it in your favor. Literally what happened to us, bro? I had to fucking tweet. Have you guys under the tweet saying, yo, this is some fucking bullshit. For two of my videos, they got falsely flagged for them to fix that. And then fucking eight hours later, I get my shit flagged three fucking times back to back to back. Fucking appeal them completely. I try to go to YouTube again. They said, fuck out of here. Fuck on, little kid. Go somewhere. We're dealing with the big boys right now. I fucking can't. YouTube fucking sucks dick. Fuck YouTube. But if you don't do that, if you don't stir up a shit storm and start throwing sand in YouTube's face on Twitter, they won't bother. Very confident that there is no human being in the review process for appeals. In fact, I would wager my anal virginity that there is no human <laughs> being that looks at appeals. And if I'm wrong, then I fully invite the YouTube policy head to come raw dog me. And there are times where it was just outright incorrect. Just outright wrong, and they will still stand with that decision. And the fucked up part is, after tweeting about them, they still, they said, fuck you, little fucking kid, fuck out of here, all skedaddle, pussy, even though they're blatantly wrong. I had a phone call with my mother in a YouTube video, and they got flagged 18 plus and limited. For what? Corey Kinchin might not be as advertiser friendly as Markiplier, which is why Markiplier is being favored by YouTube here. Markiplier still says bad words. He'll say fuck and shit and damn. You know, he'll, he'll squeeze in some naughty words. Corey Kinshin is squeaky clean. Bro, Corey will fucking, he will censor the video game if it swears, bro. That's how fucking censored he is, bro. So it's not just YouTube playing favorites for whoever's more advertiser and brand friendly. It's not the case because- No, they're just flat out picking favorites. And this is no shade towards fucking Markiplier. You know what I mean? He's just kind of like a byproduct of this whole thing, whatever the fuck. But dude, at some point, I mean, I hope he fucking speaks up on something like he did the last time when, uh, what's it called happened? They're not enforcing their rules equally across the platform and mm. they're just not enforcing them properly at all. There was no reason that video should have ever resulted in a strike by any stretch of imagination. However, I do find it interesting that Markiplier is present in both of these cases. I feel so bad for Markiplier. He's done nothing wrong. <laughs> he just keeps getting dragged into these disputes here <laughs> with YouTube. He awesome. does, bro. I feel bad for Marma. <laughs> yeah, it's pure pandemonium and chaos at the YouTube policy headquarters now. Uh, they re-age restricted Corey's video and then slapped Markiplier with an age restriction as well. Mm. After being confronted and after Corey's email as well as the phone call he had with the YouTube rep, they obviously caught wind of what was happening. Corey Kenshin was wondering why he was being unfairly treated by the YouTube policy. Uh, I feel like these people are so big, they should have manual monitoring. This is bullshit. Even like, okay, okay. But what's crazy is even, let's say they do have manual moderating and I'm happy that they're coming out and I'm kind of happy that they don't because it raises the issue that like this has been a problem on a fucking platform for a while and it's just now becoming more and more apparent. But I'm happy it's fucking happening to the big, the big content creators because if the big content creators do not speak up about this fucking bullshit, then who the fuck would. Think about the fucking uh, 10 viewer Andy or fucking 20 viewer Andy that fucking tries to upload to fucking YouTube and gets gets shitted on. It makes zero sense. They try to appeal, rejected. They don't have clout, so they can't tweet at YouTube. They're just going to get fucking ignored. You know what I mean? Their appeal is going to get rejected. And then it's just like, well, fuck you, you little motherfucker. You can't do shit. So it's kind of like a W for the, the big and little channels. You know what I mean, they, they need to overhaul on their whole fucking report system because it's bad, dude. It hurts motivation. Of course, it's fucking discouraging, dude. There are human beings on that policy team and there are sometimes biases with members of those teams you know of They're course there are and some of them are going to have biases mm. there is the potential that someone there is sexist or racist and ludwig brings up good points about that for example his girlfriend's podcast gets demonetized way more than his does i called out susan for something kind of similar it is probably just built in sexism because mm. maybe they just see girls dressed you know as mm -hmm. girls do in dresses that are this is me asking her if her employees who do content moderation are sexist because the yard podcast the podcast that i run has n almost never been demonetized except for one episode we smoked weed but my girlfriend's podcast wine about it that has similar themes similar uh topics they talk about gets demonetized almost every time or more showing and then it's just guys talking about like come and then they're like oh, that's just that's also me saying come in front of the CEO of YouTube to which Susan, I'm so sorry once again, because I, I realize on hindsight that this guy's being dudes. my bad. And that's my theory is the manual mm. reviewers 
maybe you just have built in sexism. Well, I, I don't think that's the I don't think you don't in, think your no. employees are all sexist. No, no, I, I'm, conf- I'm confident that that is not the issue. I mean, Susan would probably also reply similarly to claims that her employees are all uh, just racist. I will say after that interview with Susan. 13 of the yards videos were demonetized similar situation to Corey. the moment i called them out they were like okay bet let's make sure we're not playing favorites and they and they came for me susan the ceo denies that it's a possibility but of course it's a fucking possibility and the fact that susan even tried to deny is fucking crazy to me something may be going wrong with the algorithm or potentially actual racism at the youtube policy team it's not impossible of course there's no concrete evidence that there's any racists on the policy team but since YouTube can't communicate these decisions, all you can do is Just guess speculate, as to the bro. reason why things happen. Why was Corey the only one getting age restricted? We don't know. His YouTube representative doesn't fully know. The only ones that do are the policy team and they don't communicate. <laughs> You're looking a little too uh, dark in this video, Corey. We're just gonna have to age restrict it, okay? <laughs> Fucking YouTube ain't shit, bro. Makes zero sense. Fuck! So, all you can do is Fuck. take the best guess. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this situation and that's about it. Piece of shit fucking platform motherfucking. I will end my rant by spamming my fucking YouTube video link in chat. If you would like to watch three, maybe four, maybe five random spooky scary games on YouTube, bro. Feel free to go check it out, dude. There's a link right there. That's a new YouTube video if you want. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all that if you're new, bro. We stream every single day. Join the Discord, follow the fucking uh, the socials, all that good shit. Hey, man, say, man. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy chilling with me. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? But I'll see you guys later. Bye, la, 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 la.